Jai Hind, my dear children. Welcome to today's physics class. Today we are going to start the topic dimensions of physical quantities. The nature of a physical quantity is described by its dimension. Dimension of a physical quantity is denoted with square bracket. For example, dimension of the fundamental physical quantity. Length is represented by L inside the square bracket like that. The expression with shows how and which of the fundamental quantities represent the dimension is called dimensional formula. So we have studied how to represent the dimensions of a physical quantity. Now we can write the dimensional formula for the following quantities. First one area. We know area is equal to length into breadth, isn't it? So how will you write the dimensional formula of our area? Area we know its formula is length into breadth. Length and breadth has same dimension because length the dimension is L, breadth also represents the distance, no? So its dimension is L itself. So dimensional formula for area is given by L into L, isn't it? So it is L square and we know dimension is usually represented inside the square bracket. So dimensional formula of area is L square. Similarly, what is the dimensional formula for volume? We know volume is equal to length into breadth into width. Okay, LBH or length into breadth into height. So what is its dimensional formula? Length, breadth and height has same dimension. Length L. So its dimensional formula is L cube inside the square bracket. Okay children, now what is the dimensional formula for velocity? We know velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. Velocity is displacement divided by time. So displacement, what is its dimension? Displacement means distance or its uh, dimension is same as that of length, right? So its dimension is L divided by T and it can be written as dimension no so l by t and its dimension is l t raised to minus 1 dimension is always represented in numerator or power of a physical quantity so with the dimension of velocity is l t raised to minus 1 now what is the dimension of acceleration we know acceleration is equal to velocity divided by time rate of change of velocity is acceleration isn't it so velocity we know the dimension is L t raised to minus 1. We can substitute L t raised to minus 1 dimension therefore inside the square bracket divided by time. What is its dimension? T that we know it is a fundamental physical quantity and hence its dimension is L t raised to this is t raised to 1 no in the denominator. If it is taken to the numerator it becomes t raised to minus 1 and here this minus 1 becomes t raised to minus 2. So dimension of acceleration is L t raised to minus 2. Now we can write the dimension of force. What is force from Newton's second law? Force is equal to ma mass into acceleration. So its uh, dimension can be written as mass. Its dimension is m. Acceleration we know its dimension is L t raised to minus 2. So L t raised to minus 2. So the dimension of force is m L t raised to minus 2. We can write the dimension of pressure. Pressure is what is the formula for pressure? Force divided by area. So if you know the formula, you can directly find out this dimensional formula or dimensional equation. So pressure is force by area. What is the dimension of force? We know it is m l t raised to minus 2, right? Divided by what is the dimension of area? We know it is l square. So put l square here. So the dimension of pressure is m. Here this is l square. No, if it is come to coming to the numerator, becomes l raised to minus two. So here l raised to one, l raised to minus two, it becomes l raised to minus one. T raised to minus two. So the dimensional formula for pressure is m l raised to minus one, t raised to minus two. Now work. Work is equal to force into displacement. Work is given by force into displacement. And we know the dimensional formula for force is mlt raised to minus 2. 
okay displacement its dimension is same as length l so the dimension formula for work is m l square t raised to minus 2 now next one power power is equal to what is meant by power rate of doing work is called power isn't it so we can write work divided by time is power electric power work by time work dimension is m l square t raised to minus 2 divided by time is t okay children so it can be written as m l square here this is t raised to 1 if it is coming to the numerator and simplify m l square t raised to minus 3 so the dimension of power is m l square t raised to minus 3 so this is a method of writing dimension again next one charge we know in the 10th standard we have studied current is equal to charge by time rate of doing or rate of charge rate of flow of charges is called electric current and uh, current is considered to be a fundamental physical quantity and we know its dimension is a isn't it inside the square bracket if you write a that is the dimension of electric current so we know that charge q equal to it current into time isn't it so we know the formula for charge is current into time and how will you write the dimensional formula for charge current its dimension is a it's a fundamental physical quantity and the time dimension is t so the dimensional formula for charge is a t now we can write the dimensional formula for potential difference potential difference is or voltage and we know the general formula for potential difference is work done divided by charge in 10th standard you have studied v equal to w by q work done divided by charge and we know dimensional formula for work is m l square t raised to minus 2 isn't it divided by and what is the dimensional formula for charge it is a t so simplify you will get the dimensional formula for potential difference as m l square here this is t raised to 1 no so if it is coming to the numerator it becomes t raised to minus 3 similarly a raised to minus 1 so this is the dimensional formula for potential difference now again we know resistance according to ohm's law you have studied resistance r equal to v by i potential difference divided by current ohm's law is equal to potential difference we know its dimension is ml square t raised to minus 3 a raised to minus 1 divided by current what is its dimension a put the square brackets so potential difference is ml square t raised to minus 3 a raised to minus 1 divided by current its dimension is a so if we simplify we will get the dimension of resistance as m l square t raised to minus 3 a raised to minus 2 so that is the dimension of resistance so these are the physical quantities you have studied in 10th standard and 9th standard therefore i am discussing all these uh, dimensions and the physical quantities okay children now write the dimension of uh, momentum we know momentum you have already studied momentum in 9th standard what is meant by momentum momentum is mass into velocity so momentum is mass into velocity isn't it momentum is represented by p p equal to mv so mass into velocity so how will you write its dimensional formula mass m velocity is l t raised to minus 1 so the dimensional formula for momentum is m l t raised to minus 1 now kinetic energy so we know kinetic energy is half m v square half m v square v represents the velocity in dimension half does not have any dimensions okay half is a constant does not have any uh, dimension it has does not have any unit also so since half does not have any, any dimension or unit in order to find out the dimensional formula no need to find out or no need to consider this half just find out the dimension of m v square so what is the dimension of m mass m l velocity is l t raised to minus 1 the whole square no so it is m l square t raised to minus 2 so its dimension is same as that of work so kinetic energy work and all types of energy have same dimension 
Next term is density. Density we know it is mass by volume. Its dimension is mass m. And we know the dimension of volume is L cube. So, the dimension of density is m L raised to minus 3. Next one refracti index. So, what is refracti index? Refracti index, absolute refracti index, we know n equal to c by v. Refracti index is represented by n. Refracti index is velocity of light in vacuum divided by velocity of light in the particular medium. n equal to c by v. So, velocity both represents the velocity, you know. So, velocity of uh, light in vacuum is m velocity, lt raised to minus 1. Similarly, another v also represents the velocity that is also lt raised to minus 1. So, cancelling what is the dimension of refractive index? It has no dimension, it has no unit as well as no dimension. So, there are some physical quantities does not have any dimension. Now, dear children, do find out the dimensional formula for these physical quantities as homework. You know potential energy, you know the formula for potential energy, relative density, relative density already I have studied in 9th standard. Then gravitational constant, I will give a clue, gravitational force is given by F equal to G M1 M2 divided by R square. Gravitational force is G M1 M2 by R square, where G is called a gravitational constant. F represents the force, M1 and M2 are the masses, R represents the distance between the two masses. Okay, from this we can find out the dimension of the gravitational constant G. Resistivity also you know what is resistivity. Already I have studied this in the 10th standard. So, my dear children do these uh, find out the dimension of these physical quantities as homework.